Hi, in this second video of the JSS implementation series, we're going to look at how to deploy a new app using JSS 12 and SciCore 9.2. <clears throat> Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually go to my SciCore environment and create a new JSS tenant. This is one of the new features that are available now in SciCore 9.2. So let's call this training series. Within this tenant, I'm going to create my site, which I'm going to create the app on. But before I do that, <coughs> I'll actually create my my new site so I'll say JSS create I'll just call it training react what this will do is it will create get the bits from Sitecore uh, and install the packages for this new app ultimately Until this is done, what I'm going to do is actually take my API key. So I need to go to system, settings, services, API keys, and I'll copy this API key. I'll just take note of it because I'm going to need it. I'll also take note of my GitHub folder as well as my site URL. Okay, now that the package has actually completed, I'll just cd to my new folder and then do a JSS setup. Yes. I don't, I'm not really detailing what I'm doing now because this is all in the getting started guide. All I'm doing is actually just preparing it to show you the next steps. I'll actually make it create its own deployment secret and I'll open code. From here, I want to get the deployment secret that has just been created. So I'll go to the Sitecore config and I'll copy this deployment secret. I'll copy it because I will actually need it right now. So after I've created the tenant, what I actually need to do is create a site under the tenant. The site must have the same name as the app that I just created here. So it should be called training. So I'll call it training. And within the site settings, I'll have to paste the deployment secret that was generated. and click on OK. What this will do is it will create the site and that's it. Now, we'll go back to the PowerShell and remember here it said that you should just as deploy config. This is actually not true because what we've done here is by creating the site, we've actually deployed the configs or created the configs directly from within Sitecore. So all I need to do now is actually JS as deploy app with content and dictionaries. And this will deploy the app within this training uh, site ultimately.
Now when this completes, we're going to find out that the training app has been deployed. You can see now it's already being deployed. So within home, you can see the style guide, the GraphQL, all the different components within the style guide are here as well, like the content for LARM, Ipsum, the content list field and item link field. And if we go to templates, project training series, we're going to find all the different style guide components here. So that's it. That's how it's created. Now I'll go through some details as well here just for you to know. So within the settings are all the configurations. So you can see here the app name is here, the GraphQL endpoint, the file system path, uh, that's where the actual disk is or the actual web pack is. The server bundle, the import user, all the details for my site are configured here. The second thing I actually want to show you is if we go to SXA Site Manager, so from here, SXA Site Manager. We not only see these sites, but we can also edit them directly from here. So you don't have to go back to the config files and change them. You can just change from here directly, which is pretty cool. Finally, what I want to show you is that this site is actually taking the same structure as SXA site. So you can see here within that site, there is presentation, there are page designs, partial designs, all the things that are we're used to, well, not all, there is no rendering variance, but the main configuration capabilities of creating partial designs, page designs are readily available as part of this JSS site. And this is what we're going to focus on going forward and how to utilize these capabilities within JSS apps. Thank you all for watching.